social and ethical issues, the importance of data. Now, data plays a pivotal role in the strategic and financial planning of all businesses, as well as in the planning and budgeting of families and individuals. For these reasons, we look at the importance of data from three perspectives, which include data security, data integrity, and data quality. Now, firstly, we've got data security. Okay, and this is ensuring that data is kept private and safe. Okay, data that's stored in these systems can refer to individuals' health or financial situation and contain things such as their personal logins and passwords, okay, which is obviously very valuable to people such as hackers okay, trying to get into the system. So we need to make sure that on these information systems we have firewalls and we use antivirus software and obviously um, keep up to date good logins and passwords for our users okay, so that data is protected on these systems. Secondly is data integrity, which is the correctness and accuracy of the data in relation to where it was obtained from a source. So when users enter their data into the system, we have valid validation and verification techniques being used to ensure that when data goes in the system, it is going correct and the data on the system is correct and accurate. And we verify this year to year and update it and ensure that the records stored in our systems stay correct over time. Finally, we have this notion of data quality, and that goes beyond integrity in the fact that the information provided by a system's data aids an organization in achieving its goals. The system's information is useful for those who use the system, okay, and that's the measure of data quality. So these are the three areas that reflect the importance of data. So let's firstly look at the potential negative sides to this. And the first one is that of privacy. Organization whose information systems hold data about individuals are responsible for its privacy. As the data is valuable, it becomes a target for hackers, especially when stored on information systems for larger, larger organizations. We do hear in the news of situations of certain um, systems being targeted of big businesses and hearing they had a breach in their security because they know these systems have on their records people's financial data and personal data that they can use for theft, you know, both of identity and of finances. So it is extremely important important that privacy is kept safe but obviously privacy is the bullseye that it's a target people are going for these systems because they know they've got you know crucial data on these systems secondly is inaccurate data creates inaccurate information and this relates to the integrity and quality side of things if data entered into a system is incorrect ultimately the information that comes as a result of the actual system it's processing will come out of it incorrect. So nobody will want to use this system that gives incorrect information. So we need to really make sure that we are putting data into a system correctly, that when it goes in, that it is accurate and correct. And obviously it stays that way so that it can produce quality data out of the system. Now, on the flip side of this, we have our positive areas. And the first one is that if we do have a system that upholds these three areas, we're going to get user confidence in this system. They're going to be happy to use our system because this system contains data that is accurate. The users are more likely to rely on and support the system. Clients will also be happy to use the system if they feel the information system is safe and secure, okay, and keeping their data safe and secure. Okay, users will be more confident in using this system because yes, the data they get out of it's correct, up to date, it'll provide quality data to them, okay, and the data they enter into the system, whether it be about themselves or their job, okay, is going to be kept safe because the system is secure. And as I did just say then, the other point is quality data for an organization. The information provided by the system is reliable and effective for the purposes of the organization. The information aids the organization in achieving its goals, and thus it's useful to those who use the system. Okay, it allows them to achieve their um, purpose. Okay, of the user, and obviously, hopefully, make their lives a lot easier due to the efficiency of the system and the quality of the information coming out of the system. So, I hope this video has given you an understanding of the importance of data under those three areas: data security about keeping private data safe, data integrity about ensuring that data on the system is correct and up to date and data quality that the actual data on the system aids people in achieving their goals.